I look at what I've done with the jet ski, Kandagawa Jet Girls, obviously from the trailer. Because you can put different upgrades to get different, um, set your jet ski up for different things. So pause and peruse uh, if you've got this game and if you're bothered, if you're interested. I've set this up for a race against AI on strong difficulty so this is set up for racing so hence all the shield recovery and you know a little bit extra on the weapons and stuff you can see everything I've done there and then a quick look at the settings for the race which is on strong and seven laps as you can see and then get into the racing I did try and put a replay video in the top right hand corner but unfortunately what seems to have happened is when you use um, like you build up your uh, ETD and then you get a weapon and you use like the triangle button sort of for the special weapon on it it gives a little footsie and that desyncs the action on the replay so what happened was uh, the action on the main screen was you know in the actual race was ended up being out of sync with the replay the replay doesn't show all the cutscenes of you know things that happening in the race so that's unfortunate because I would have liked to have, um, have put the replay you know in the top right hand corner for the action but unfortunately not a bit of a random video this one from me um, but I do like racing games and I do like uh, a wide wide variety of games and I got this one quite recently in a sale um, and I, I've been aware of it for some time because obviously I watch things to do with racing games and I like a lot of different styles of racing games as I've said before from you know arcade to full on simulation and everything in between I really really like Japanese um, games and being me I'm unashamed and I don't care about what you know type of game it is so if it's um, Japanese anime with you know females in it, I don't care. If the game is fun and I like the charm of it, then yeah, I'll play it. I'll absolutely play it. So not a fan of censorship. Um, so I've been learning a lot about that and uh, yeah. <laughs> and what that means for games in general and be afraid, be very afraid but yeah, Candy Cow Jet Girls is a fun title I found um, I've watched a few opinions on it so as you can see from the action it's uh, you know that kind of um, I think Mario Kart you know 
sort of thing where you pick up item boxes giving you different weapons to use and you can build up boosts from drifting and if you uh, took the time to have a fix settings for the different speed and you will assume that there are options that you can utilise to build up um, your EPD or in general race arcade racing terms your boost from building up your you know from a drift be able to utilise. Um, you can pull off tricks from ramps which will give you different stat attribute boosts to your uh, jet speed. So you might get a speed up or you might get a handling up or whatever and you can change it. If you remember Mario Kart Double Dash uh, which is a brilliant title on the GameCube. Mario Kart Double Dash is kind of a one-off in the Mario Kart series where you have two characters on the same kart. But in that game, it doesn't matter the order of the driver or the one using the items because you can swap them around during the race. In Candidara Jet Girls, you pick the order before the race and you can't alter that order during the race. You can't swap them around. But if you alter the order before the race, then when you do your team trick, because you have a team trick, then you get different team tricks depending on the order of um, the driver and the shooter. And you can swap, ultimately you can swap, um, you know, girls around from different teams and mix and match as you keep it and try out the different combinations. I haven't tried a lot out yet. I do have the DLC for the characters from uh, Senran Kagura. So there are some characters from Senran Kagura who appear in this game. Obviously this game is uh, more restricted in its content um, so if you're aware of Senran Kagura and its content on other platforms then Candigawa Jet Girls does not offer that and indeed on Sony's platform uh, Senran Kagura was somewhat censored anyway in terms of what was in the game but I'm still having fun with the game I love the charm of it um, it does have screen tearing issues it runs on the Unity engine um, but yeah, it's a, a nice title. The way the water is very flat. So if you're familiar with Wave Race on the N64 or the weaker title I think on the GameCube, the water isn't choppy at all. Um, there are not enough jet skiing games out there, I have to say. Um, it's on a river, it's on rivers based in Japan in the future. So it's all, you know, complete silliness. It's very funny in places, I think. Um, my favourite girls in the game are definitely the, the American duo who wants to be ninjas and who love everything about Japan. And yeah, I think they're hilarious. Um, Jennifer Peach and Emily Orange are totally hilarious to me. So yeah, um, but I like the game. I like. The story mode is quite easy, I found. Uh, you'll need to upgrade your jet ski a couple of times. There are different mini games where you can earn money to upgrade, you know, buy things from the game shop to upgrade your jet ski and stuff. Uh, but I think this is a very, very fun title. And here, what I did was I couldn't beat the AI on strong in free play. I've Platinum the game, I've done all the triple S ranks and all the stars in the story mode. Um, and so I, I put time down on the leaderboard in, you know, on all the tracks. They're not very good, but I put, put them down anyway, because you unlock different pieces of music in the shop to get. So my item completion rate in the shop is 100% at the moment. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd have a go at the single player against strong AI and that's why I was setting up the jet ski because I kept failing 
and I thought, well, there'll be a setup that you can do to maximise your time trial, and there'll be a setup that you can do to, you know, improve your chances in races. Um, so this is, as you saw from the screenshot, just a strong AI. You can take it online, which I haven't done just yet, but I might do. You never know. If there's anybody racing, <laughs> there might not be. Um, but yeah, fun, very colourful, uh, very charming, um, probably a niche title, and the last one by uh, Kenny Kuro Takaki when he was, you know, at Marvelous, or with Marvelous, the publisher. He's since gone on to uh, CY Games where he's working on Project Scam, which had the name now. So we'll look forward to that and more information on that. But yeah, bit of Candy Gara Jet, Jet Girl. So final lap now. It did get a bit hairy at the beginning and I was end up crashing into walls a lot and stuff. But um, I seem to have found a decent setup on the bike and seem to have got the hang of that I do need to actually boost and not just use weapons all the time. So you have to sort of fiddle around with how much upgrades you can put on the bike and where you want to put them. So it's not always a good idea to go for the top spec of everything because you won't be able to fit it in with the points available. But in the end it worked out alright for this race. Just the real shame I couldn't get the other replay on. The music in the game, there's some really cool music tracks, though I'm led to believe that it's not the finest by the studio. Uh, but it's still a good music, you know, selection. But there we go, there we are, a random video from me, um, from quite a fun title that I got in a sale. So if you're a fan of racing games and you don't mind this stuff, check it out.